Coming to the end of your secondary school journey and wondering what your next step is? Whether you prefer something hands-on or academic, the post-secondary education landscape offers various options for you to pursue your passion. So, how do you decide? First, consider what are your interests and abilities? Knowing your strengths and interests will help you decide on the course or subjects to study after secondary school. When you pursue something you're good at and have interest in, you're more likely to enjoy what you're studying in your post-secondary institution. Next, ask, how do you learn best? And what do you want to do after you graduate? If a hands-on approach to learning suits you better, consider going to the Institute of Technical Education, Polytechnic or one of our arts institutions. With your NITEC, Higher NITEC or Diploma in hand, you will have the necessary skills and industry knowledge to earn your keep. Of course, if you prefer to deepen your knowledge in your chosen field after graduation, you can further your studies in poly or university. If the creative arts is your calling, LaSalle College of the Arts and the Nanyang Academy of Fine Arts offer publicly funded diploma programs. You can even further your passion with the degree programs offered by these arts institutions. However, if you prefer an academic environment, Junior College or Millennia Institute would suit you better. With an A-level certificate or the International Baccalaureate IB Diploma, you can further your education at a uni or poly. Once you're clearer about what you'd like to pursue and which educational path suits your learning style, you need to know how to get there. You can apply for your institute of choice using your N or O-level results via the Joint Intake Exercise or the Joint Admissions Exercise. But don't forget, you could also use your strengths and interests to help you gain admissions to them. The Early Admissions Exercise allows N and O-level students to apply for admission to ITE or Poly based on their aptitude and interests even before receiving their results. It allows students to demonstrate their strengths apart from academic grades, allowing a wider range of talents to be recognised. For O-level holders hoping to enter JC, you can also apply based on your talent in sports, CCAs or academic areas outside of the O-level examinations via the direct school admission. When applying for EAE, DSA JC programs in LaSalle or NAFA, a portfolio may be needed for certain courses to showcase your skills and accomplishments. Also, don't forget to brush up on your interview skills. Apart from admission pathways that recognise your strengths and interests, there are newer ones like the Direct Entry Scheme to Polytechnic Programme and the Polytechnic Foundation Programme that NA level holders could consider applying for if your N-level results meet the requirements. The DPP allows Secondary 4 NA students to be admitted into a two-year higher NITEC programme. If you meet the eligibility criteria, you're guaranteed a place in a Polytechnic course mapped to your higher NITEC course. The PFP offers a one-year practice-oriented course taught by poly lecturers to prepare you for entry into relevant poly courses as an alternative to Secondary 5. Pass all your modules in your PFP year and you're on your way to getting your diploma. For the Creative Arts, Secondary 4 NA students can consider the NAFA Foundation Programme, a one-year practice-based programme that prepares NA students to be able to successfully enrol and pursue a diploma course at NAFA. To make an informed decision on your post-secondary pathway, it is important to spend time to discover yourself, your passions and strengths and find out more about what each pathway can offer. In school, your CCA could help you develop your strengths while education and career guidance activities like fairs and learning journeys can help you discover your interests. Outside of school, pick up hobbies or volunteer. Explore and try various things to discover what makes your eyes light up. Besides that, there are also many useful resources from the JCs, MI, Polys, ITEs and Arts institutions that you can find on the web. Not to mention the stories from seniors who have already graduated from secondary schools into the various pathways. Last but not least, it helps to discuss your options with your parents, family, friends, teachers and even the ECG counsellors in your schools. The more you talk about it, the more informed a decision you can make. What if you realise the pathway you've chosen is not for you? Don't worry, it's not cast in stone. The post-secondary pathways in Singapore offer flexibility. 
Many people have moved from Poly to JC and vice versa. Others have gone from ITE to Poly but later decided that they wanted some work experience before heading back to Poly. You can also discuss the possibilities with the ECG counsellors. Remember, deciding your pathway is not something that magically happens overnight. Start planning today so you have more time to explore and discover the possibilities available to you in the next step of your journey.